Hey guys, Hunter from Vision All Access, and today we're talking WWDC! So WWDC, what the heck is it? It stands for Worldwide Developer Conference. So this is kind of Apple's limelight to shine and say what is all coming to all their operating systems. Mac OS, iOS, TV OS, watch OS for the year of 2018 or whatever year WWDC happens, which is every year and I'm just rambling, let's get on with it. So as most of you know, I'm not exactly pro Apple. Honestly, I think that the Apple tax has just gotten way too extravagant, case in point. I'm looking for a brand new laptop and I was considering the MacBook Pro. And then I got an awesome experience of what it's like to almost have a heart attack. Ah! That being said, I do actually appreciate Apple's hardware and their ingenuity and their innovation. And WWDC is the perfect opportunity to showcase some of that. So this video is all about highlighting the things that stood out to me during WWDC last week and a couple of key things happening to their platforms this coming fall. First things first, we're gonna talk about what took up over half of the keynote new features coming to iOS. So iOS 12 coming out later this fall is actually gonna have some pretty awesome options if you have almost any legacy iPad, iPhone, you name it. One of the key things I've always loved, both me and Dave, about iOS is the fact that they support the legacy hardware. And in no better way was this exemplified during this point. When you look at the competition, well, <laughs> it's hard to say they really have a software update model. Low blow Apple. Very low. But it's true, I really, really, really wish that a lot of Android OEMs would get on this bandwagon and update their software. And that's exactly what iOS is bringing into iOS 12 for its legacy devices. Better performance, in some cases, app launches are gonna be twice as fast opening. Camera's actually supposed to be 70% faster launching. Like, this is a great move for Apple because I think they're finally seeing that their hardware can be built so well that people might not want to let go of it. I'm sure a lot of you are going to join me in this next one, but Siri sucks. But this year at WWDC, Siri did not get left behind completely. Although it wasn't getting the major overhaul to bring it right up to fisticuffs with stuff like the Google Assistant, it was actually given a pretty awesome new feature we call shortcuts. Just creating yourself a simple catchphrase like, hey, I lost my keys. And when you then say it, Siri will automatically activate tile and show you right in the Siri UI, start ringing your tile just like that. But it can also do multitudes of things and this is way better personified in the keynote than anything I could say right here. Another pretty awesome feat is AR improvements. So at the keynote and the events afterwards, people got to trial this new feature, multi-user AR. Basically what this means is that multiple people with iOS devices can join in to the same augmented reality experience and play games together, spectate on the same games. It was actually truly mind blowing to see. And of course we got other improvements to messaging, we got improvements to FaceTime, like for instance, 32 user FaceTime. I don't know if I'd ever get the chance to try that out, but for me as a family man, it'd be super cool if I could actually FaceTime my two daughters and my wife at the same time and have a group conversation if like I'm at work. Now I know a whole bunch of people are gonna have their thumbs ready over the thumbs down button if I don't mention this next feature. Memoji. All you emoji lovers out there, rejoice. If you guys remember Animoji from last year that got launched, this is just another level where you can actually make yourself an emoji. It's pretty cool. The amount of customization you get is pretty awesome. Uh, I've seen a couple of YouTubers who went to the event create their own Memojis and pretty decent. 
Just to give you an example, we got MKBHD, Jonathan Morrison, your average wifey, and your average consumer. These are just a couple. Actually, let's throw iJustine's up here just to give her a little bit extra attention. So after getting through all the iOS improvements, we moved on to watchOS. Now I will say that the Apple Watch is definitely one of the best, if not the best smartwatch out there in terms of design. The one that really spoke out to me actually was walkie talkie mode. Did you steal my chips? Maybe. I cannot wait till you go to college. So what walkie talkie is, is just like in the old days with walkie talkies, you connect two Apple watches together, one person press the talk button, speaks into it, kind of all Dick Tracy style, and the other person's able to hear it. This feature really spoke out to me because even though my wife loves to be on her phone, for some reason when I call, sometimes she doesn't answer. She's getting better, but this would be a nice feature that I would personally love to have if I end up adopting Apple this fall. Now I'm not gonna forget it, but TVOS. My friend Jody and his wife Maggie actually have TVOS, so I've gotten to see a little bit of what Apple's ecosystem is there and play around with it a bit. Really for me, the biggest thing to come out of it, and even really isn't that major in my opinion, uh, Dolby Atmos, pretty awesome. Uh, another thing that really kind of caught my eye, maybe a lot of people will be interested in, if you guys buy movies through the iTunes store, um, now that they're launching a lot in 4K, if you have any existing titles that were purchased, apparently they're gonna be adopted up to 4K for absolutely no charge. So, yay Apple! Gold star for you. And last but not least, Mac OS. Our next release of Mac OS is Mac OS Mojave. I don't know why, but for some reason I just really like the way that guy says Mojave. Mojave. I'm mesmerized, I don't know about you. Pretty awesome improvements are coming there for specifically a dark mode. Mac OS Mojave finally brings a dark mode to Mac OS, but no dark mode to iOS. Yeah. We're waiting. Thanks you guys and gals for joining Vision All Access for the WWDC 2018 recap episode, I guess you could call it. If you guys are interested, I'm going to link the full two hour keynote down there in the description, as well as if you don't have that kind of time because let's face it, we're all important people. Uh, we also got the Verges cut down very succinct 14 minute version of that keynote, which is just gonna highlight all the important things. If you guys want to, subscribe to The Verge while you're there. Don't forget to subscribe to Vision All Access. See what I did there? Because we're still going 100 strong all summer, trying to get to 100 subscribers for Vision All Access. So far, current count is still at 51. I do appreciate those 51 subscribers, but we need more and I need your help to do it. So don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell, keep updated with all my videos. My question of the day for this video is what are you most excited about from WWDC? Do you have any features that you're looking for or maybe something they missed out of? Let me know down in the comments. That's what it's there for. Keep up with me at the links down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.